Hello guys, welcome to Cruise Control. The Ineos Grenadier is a newcomer on the rugged SUV scene, and it won't be coming alone as there will also be a pickup truck version. Caught by Motor S for the first time testing in Southern Europe, the more utilitarian version was missing its bed while largely carrying over the body from the standard model. The missing cargo area could be a sign the vehicle is being engineered not only as a pickup with a bed, but also with other storage compartment configurations for specific purposes. The exposed rear end hence the bed won't be necessarily large, and it looks like the rear seats have been replaced by a roll cage. Underneath the hood is a BMW engine, either a diesel or gasoline inline 6 unit sending power to both axles through a ZF8 speed automatic transmission. Compared to the regular Grenadier and its 2922mm 115-inch wheelbase, the pickup truck will measure 3175mm 125 in between the axles, much like a future 7-seat SUV model. Rivals will include the likes of the next-generation Volkswagen Amarok and Ford Ranger, both of which are going to ride on the same platform developed by the Blue Oval. Land Rover has been going back and forth about introducing a Defender-based pickup, but it's still unclear whether it will actually happen in the coming years. We'll remind you the regular Grenadier will be one of the heaviest production vehicles to hit the road, with the ladder frame SUV expected to tip the scales at somewhere in the region of 2,650 kg 5,842 pounds. Moving all that metal will be Bavaria's B58 3-liter gasoline engine with 281 horsepower and 450 newton meters of torque or the B57 3-liter diesel producing 245 horsepower and 550 newton meters. Production of the SUV is programmed to kick off in July 2022, with the pickup truck due to arrive soon after. Whether you agree or disagree with my views, I love to read your comments, thanks for watching, and stay safe everyone.